So here it is, the Sprut SD, or as it's officially known as the 2S25. But let's be very honest here. Nobody's going to call it the 2S25, okay? Because if you're someone like myself who deeply enjoyed Battlefield 3, especially the DLC, I believe it was called Armored Kill, then this is the Sprut SD for real. I know it is called like that in game too, but this is such a nostalgic thing for me because holy crap, I just realized that game was 10 years ago. Yeah, it came out 10 years ago. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I feel old. It makes you feel old too for playing it, right? Or knowing about it at least. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, onto the actual vehicle itself. For starters, it does sit at battle rating 9.3. I'm sorry, I'm still in shock here. I can't get over the fact it was 10 years ago. I'm sorry, I feel really old. Anyways, uh, battle rating 9.3. Now, initially, this came in as BR 9.7, but Gaijin has moved it down to 9.3. And I can kind of understand why, which you'll kind of see throughout the entirety of the video itself. Now, the next feature of this vehicle is, well, a lack thereof, it has no armor. That's that's kind of the big thing, okay? 30 millimeter, 18 up front, 20 in the sides, in the front, etc. This thing, you'll die from 50 cal. That's, let's just say that, okay? You will die from 50 caliber machine guns. Simple as that. So if they come side onto you or in the rear, you're dead pretty much. But that's kind of a given for this vehicle because you only have three crew members. You do have a carousel uh, type of loader, which means that if you get penetrated, which you will, this thing is going to send the turret right into space. I'm not even kidding. This thing, this turret loves to blow right off this hole. <laughs> just saying, all right? But just because it has bad armor, it doesn't mean it doesn't have other good capabilities. Now, this does have the 125 2A75 gun, which I believe is the same one found on uh, 2A26. I think it's the same one found on the T72s. I, I could be entirely wrong. Uh, either way, it's more or less going to fire the same ammunition as you would find with the T72s. It does have the mangle round. Now, the uh, dev server did state, uh, or excuse me, the dev blog did state that it has over 470 millimeters of base pen. That is incorrect. As you can see right here, this is the mangle round. I don't know if they mean the missile on this thing, but they did say AP, but that is probably one that they made the intern do when he had incorrect information because this mango round no longer penetrates up to 470 base pen. That 30 and 60 is what really matters. However, uh, it is a tier 4 modification of a shell, which is really nice. 7.1 seconds of reload, 3VM22 as a tier 1 shell. You do get ATGMs, which I haven't really used, but nice to have. And you do get that very meme-ish HE fragmentation shell, which is very nice to use, especially against optics for those MBTs you'll be facing in the higher tiers. Aside from that, you don't get thermal sights. Instead, you only get NVD, which is kind of a shame, especially for a vehicle at this BR. But check this out. This is a nice little feature. Gunner, tank commander, and driver NVD, which means this thing, you don't really have to research it to know what it does have. And you can kind of look at it from a different perspective. I can't really show you myself, but you kind of get what I mean. Uh, aside from that, that's, that's really it. That, that's it <laughs> when it comes to the modifications it does have fantastic mobility check this out 70 kilometers in forward backward it goes 70 kilometers that's very rare for these types of tanks but that's kind of where the fun of this vehicle really stops because yes it does have good horizontal guidance of 25 degrees a second which is very nice stabilized gun kind of a given but 2.5 degrees of vertical targeting speed which is very typical for russian tanks but for a modern tank like this I guess it kind of is what it is. And the next big thing, optics. Eight times zoom, side FOV of nine. Yikes. Commander sight, one to eight times. Commander can control the weapon, which is very nice. But in truth, I haven't been able to get that ability to kind of work because every time I get shot at, I die in this thing. Yeah, it's kind of a rough spot. So, oh, one more thing too. Uh, as a content partner, we do get test drive. So this is going to be a very ironic video, more or less, because we are using the vehicle to grind the vehicle. Does that make sense? Yeah, just, just to clarify some things, I will be unlocking this via natural means. And one more thing too, kind of like just in the intro, China got a buff. All the ZTZ-96s are now at 7.1 second reload, which kind of changes the game quite a bit. So we'll have to take a look at that at some point later on down the line or this week. So with that being said, let's take this bad boy out and see how it performs in today's, well, new update. Let's get started. Okay, so just as a start, this is how it's gonna go. 11 rounds of Sabo, seven uh, fragmentation rounds, and three missiles. And the missiles, they're kind of there just to, you know, make things a little interesting, I guess. And yeah, there's some Battlefield 3 nostalgia going on there, okay, uh, I know. <laughs> so anyways, I don't have good gun depression, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to hang out up here as best as I can. Plus, shooting and scooting is gonna be nice. Oh, I know you're there, buddy. Oh yeah, there you are. 
Whoa. I gotta help this guy out. Boop. Oh, okay. I uh, okay, guys. Our engine and turret ring. <laughs> That's like the two worst things you can take out on a tank. Just saying. No. Oh, great. What's good post ben effect, huh? All right. I, I could go for the ammo. In fact, let's just do that. I, I should have done that to begin with. I know, right? Ooh. There he is. Oh, yes. Now that's the one shot I'm looking for. Oh, dude. Woo. That helicopter was coming from me, too. <laughs> yeah, I hear somebody right in front of me. And that's a low rumble, too. So that's that's got to be a... It's either going to be a light tank or a chonky one at that. But let's... Uh, there he is. Oh. It was an Abrams. Oof. Go get him. Go get him, Centauro. There you go. Go bully the Abrams. <laughs> oh, he loses the fight. I did get his loader, though, and he does have a friend. And I can't see. Now I can. Excuse me. Ugh, backing up. Okay. I gotta try this one more time. I, damn. Go away, aircraft. There we go. Got his loader. I don't know if he has his gun up. Okay, he does. One more time. Oh, come on. The mo if, he, if he even shoots me with that main gun anywhere, I'm dead. There we go. Thank you. All right, cool. That's a nice little comeback. There you are. Right in the ammo. Beautiful. I mean, that kind of wasn't supposed to happen. The blowout panel was supposed to go off, but I'll take it. Not against that. And it's something I forgot to mention. I don't think I did earlier. Uh, I did just wake up, like, not even an hour ago, so I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. Oh. Well, then. Oh, finally, a map worth sniping in. <laughs> so I decided to bring all of my ammunition, and holy crap, this thing is just filled with ammunition. Oh. All right, cool. Um, So the idea, or the name of the game is, of course, we're up-tiered, and I'm just going to... No, we're slightly up to it, actually. It's not terrible. I'm going to go ahead and just snipe. That's all I'm going to be doing this entire round. And uh, it's the usual spot, as always. Hopefully, it goes well. Okay. Um. So, our teammate decided to use smoke shells all over the front right here. I have no idea why. Ooh. There's one guy to snipe. Yes. Got his engine. <laughs> hey, come on. Sniping in War Thunder is one of the most satisfying things, okay? There he is. Right there. Oh, pff. this is good anyway. Come on. 1,800. Beautiful. Sniping is, is, is something I take deep pride in, and it's so fun in War Thunder, so this is nice. And having a vehicle like this with these optics, yeah. Oh, I thought I saw somebody right there. Come on, give me a lovely boop here. Driver, commander, track, and he's dead. Damn it. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, uh, you didn't see that. Don't, don't you look at me. Don't back up. Don't do it. There we go. I thought he was going to move up a little bit, and obviously that wasn't the case. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we don't have thermal sights. I mean, I already mentioned that earlier, and I am just glued to these optics. No, seriously, I am panning around looking at everything that doesn't look right. Does that make sense? And I kind of give myself away. To think I wanted to snipe, too. Aha! Looks like he's coming back for some payback. Hold up, hold up. Let me see if I can use this house for cover. There he is. Does he see me? Doesn't matter, though. Got his breach, Commander Gunner. Why is he staying right there? I was gonna say, you might want to move somewhere. Who just shot me in the ass? Whoa. Oh, it was, oh, <laughs> damn it. I moved right into his sight too. So unfortunately this game is going to end shortly and uh, Nice. I'm doing what I can to uh, try to get on this point and stop the game from bleeding, but I, I hear somebody right in front of me. There he is, Leopard 2K. 
Unified front. And done. Uh, come on. We probably won't be able to save this game, but I need to get on that point ASAP and get it. Come on. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it, dude. I'm running. I'm running. Ooh, is that a target? That's a... There's to be a dead tank. Can we stop this game? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, yes. And stop the bleed. Woo. All right, with uh, 790 tickets to go. All right, now what? <laughs> I mean, we're probably not gonna win this game, but I'm gonna damn well try, I promise. Somebody took a shot at me. I'm gonna go ahead and pop smoke. Pop a smoke, leaving. I know someone's coming to counter me right now. So I gotta move and I gotta move now. Let's go. Oh, yep, there it was. Running. In front. There he is. I'm gonna kill my engine. I think he's coming right to me. I need a clear shot. Got his gunner horizontal. Uh, he's trying to cap the point. Where you going, buddy? I think he's got a friend. I got a vehicle front. See him. Got his driver, gunner. He still has his commander up. Does he see me, though? He's looking for me. Got him. Yes, spinal sniping, ambush tactics. Hell yeah! <laughs> we might be able to win this game. Might. Oh! <laughs> I tried so hard, too. Well played. So, in truth, American Desert is one of those maps that I kind of enjoy. I like the uh, urban environment, maybe because it says American in it, and holy crap, there is some sort of SBAA. Uh, oh, I just noticed we're down here, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> Not that I trust that, because this thing has no armor. Uh, but, yeah, this will uh, this will be interesting, I hope. Oh. Why does it sound like a train? It's not a train. Oh, I kind of stopped that a little bit. Okay, risky, risky, risky. Ooh, okay. We're good. Woo. All the risk, all the reward. <laughs> yeah, we're good. And our teammate flanked him, too. Well done. Oh, that was two Tepany nines, too. Nice. I don't think you guys uh, understand how much trust I do not have for my front or right side. I do hear a vehicle right there, though. Beautiful. XM803. I think I hear a second one. Why? Huh? Oh, 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 you SOB. Come here. No, 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 no. You're not getting another shot off of me. Okay, maybe you will. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and scout him. Oh, no. Ugh. Yeah, I'm dead. Come on. Come on. Ugh. That's what I get for trying to flank. <laughs> Let's do that again, though. I got to back up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I saw the mark thinking like, uh, what? <laughs> All right. I guess little uh, impromptu payback. All right. Well, I'm not going for that point because uh, no thanks. So I'm going to go try to fight around it, I guess. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Be it. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to fight that. No, thank you. I would rather... He turn his engine off, too. I would rather not fight that. Not in this thing. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for Artie to see if he can do anything to him. Which it probably won't, but we'll see. Or maybe... Ooh, actually, hold up. I might have the opportunity to engage this guy now. Maybe. Oh, I'm going to lose a fight to an SPA in this thing, aren't I? Ooh. Oh, that's so loud! Oh, man, that scared the hell out of me. That was so loud. Really? Actually, the assist, though. Got one to my left. What is that? Are you kidding me? Re you know what's funny? He can actually kill me. I think his uh, little 37 up top could probably kill me. So, no, I did not bully a child. Okay, don't say I did. <laughs> yep. 
It's a centurion. <laughs> it's right. Oh, whoa. Oh, if you can't break through it, go on top of it, I guess. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> I got sandwiched. Dude, that, that was such a terrifying sight. Ah. See what I mean about the post pen? It's rough. Uh, predictably enough, we did lose that last game. Yeah, I mean, it was a map full of BMDs. Everyone was trying to bring out all their tier two, tier three aircraft, thinking they could do anything <laughs> against uh, vehicles like what the M two four seven, etc. Yeah, it was kind of a, of a predictable loss, but it is what it is, right? But let's jump out of the uh, frying pan and into the fire with this terrible map, shall we? Oh, ho, ho. finally got somebody over here. Finally. Yeah, I've been waiting right here for just a little bit. Oh, it was a Bradley. If it was a Chadley, I would have been dead. And he's got a friend. Come on. Ooh, pfft. Oh, how did we not die? Holy shit. Um, I lost my turret ring. Come on. No 50 cal for you. Ooh. <laughs> uh, pneumatic suspension away, which, by the way, I forgot it has pneumatic suspension. So there's that. Oh. Someone's coming for the flank. I knew somebody was going to come and try to counter me, but I'm going to go ahead and keep my engine off. I'm going to wait right here and see whether or not he sees me. Judging by the sounds of it, he's moving and he's not stopping, so he probably does not see me. No, he does. Yeah, he definitely sees me. Yeah, he definitely sees me. But I've got the mango round, buddy. You know what that means? If you try to come at me in this thing, it will go through your turret face and it will not have a problem doing so. Got his loader. I'm going to die, though, probably. Nope, he messed up his shot. Okay, now he's going to have a hard time loading for just for a little bit. Oh, boy. And I think I got his pipe. I got his pipe. Yes, I did. Why? Dude, really? Wait, you, why did you go forward? You could have ran away. Okay, I, I thought I heard two of them, but I guess it might be one, but he's kind of screwed. <laughs> so uh, let's finish him off, I guess. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's one of the guys I got earlier. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Here's something in front of me. Oh. There's an XM1. There was an XM1. That's... I think I was hearing my own engine or something, but this is kind of a given someone would be there because that's a very common spot. This spot I'm currently in, too, is also very common. So let's, let's move. Hey, you want to see something interesting? Check this out. It has the propellers right there that just pop up when you go in the water. The level of detail right here is incredibly nice. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, in real life, it actually has that. It's meant to, um, well, kind of a given right there. Amphibious vehicle and everything, but that's nice. Good. Gaijin, good job, dude. In front. Oh, God. Oh, well, uh, that's not good. What is vertical targeting speed? Oh. What is striker? <laughs> <laughs> All right. In truth, I kind of wanted to bring out my backup to uh, kind of help save the game. But unfortunately, there is nobody nearby those positions and they are entrenched. So unfortunately, this game is over. But you know what? I want to point something out really quick. This aircraft is so freaking nice. It is probably one of the most underrated premium Russian aircraft that I think you can get. Because come on, it's a MiG-17 with air-to-air -air missiles. MiG-17s are great. And it only sits at 9.0. It's not bad. I don't know. Give it a look-see, I guess. Okay, so uh, I'll admit that was a bit of a rough experience, but let's be honest here. It makes sense simply because the armor of this vehicle is bad. That's, that's the only real 
terrible downside of this thing is the armor is bad. It's kind of a given though. It is a light tank. Kind of is what it is. But other vehicles like the CV90s, etc., they feel really good. Especially the CV90-120 and the 105 TML. It feels really good. But this one just, just doesn't. I guess it's maybe the thermal sights, maybe the optics. Um, the two good things about this vehicle is, of course, its mobility and its firepower. It has excellent firepower mobility. I'm not even kidding. It just, it feels great. It can shoot and scoot. It can definitely get the job done. Anything it shoots at at 9.3, especially even in an up tier, it'll get the job done incredibly well. But again, the big downside is no thermal sights. And especially at, uh, with vehicles at battle rating 9.0 and above, if you don't have a thermal sight, you're at a disadvantage. Take that as you absolutely will. Say it's a skill issue. Say it's this or that. But in truth, thermal sights can really make or break vehicles quite a bit. Thankfully, it doesn't really break this vehicle. But at the same time, it doesn't really make it too much worthwhile. Instead, I would use this as more or less kind of like the last resort vehicle, the backup vehicle to my backup, uh, kind of like the mid to end game type of thing. If you're not going to be supporting your teammates, if you're playing with a squadron, a couple of friends of yours or something, yeah, I can see this coming out. And you can support them very well. But as you know, a lone vehicle, full frontal assault one, not really. I mean, it's kind of a given. I wish it had better optics. If it had maybe a 5.0 to 10 times something, I would forgive it, but it doesn't bad sight so kind of is what it is uh would i personally recommend this vehicle uh in short i would only use it in the former which is of course you know flank and spank and play as a support don't play it out as a full frontal uh assault vehicle if that makes sense i know that's a stupid phrase to use but uh yeah that's my two cents on the matter and i want to know what you guys think down below is this a good vehicle is it one you really want to see is it a nostalgic factor for you because it's the sprut come on battlefield 3 give me a break here okay uh yeah feel free to let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to discuss further my discord link is also down there i am expanding the community much more with the sherpa program creative events so on and so forth so if you guys want to tune into that feel free to do so for sure as it would help me out tremendously uh, and if you want to see this gameplay live, as always, Twitch link is also down there as well. I do stream pretty much every single day, and I really look forward to seeing you guys there as well. So yeah, that's all I got for you. So again, thank you so much for checking this out, and I'll see you guys not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until next time.